Chapter 7 Huh? I let out a gasp. I gaped up at the pumpkin head. How is it attached to the boy's shoulders? I suddenly knew I was in a horror movie, Invasion of the Pumpkin Heads. But the, pup the, but the pumpkin began to slide down. I realized the boy was holding it in both hands, holding it in front of his face. Phew. I really am starting to go crazy on this farm. He was very pale and very skinny. His jeans were hung into him. He had straight brown hair that fell in the, over his forehead, dark eyes, a serious this expression, even though he was given a lopsided smile. I sat down the pump, sat down with the pumpkin I was painting and jumped up. Hi, I said. You startled me. Sorry, he had a soft voice, whispery, like he had a sore throat. He pointed at the big pumpkin he, uh, he'd been carrying. This pumpkin, it's too perfect. So I picked it, uh, so I picked it. I'm going to give it to my mom. I blinked. Your mom? He nodded. He brushed the long hair off of his forehead, then flopped it right, uh, right back down over his dark eyes. I'm Haywood Barnes, he said. You know Mrs. Barnes' son? Oh, hi, I said. I I didn't know. I'm Devin O'Brien. Bennett. I know, he replied. He gave me the same higher uh, smile. One of his mouth moved up uh, higher than the other side. My mom talked to your dad. I'm going to help you out with the pumpkins and everything. You know, help carry them and pick them and help with the customers when they came, came, with the, when they come. Sh nice, I said. Hey, I'm sto I'm stoked to have some help. I don't really know anything about this farm stuff. He dropped down beside my bench. We were chatting for a while. I told him about um, a little about my family, why we're here on the pumpkin farm this Halloween. He kept rubbing his knees in his jeans as we talked. I noticed that his hands were long and very pale. He told me about the weird pumpkin recipes his mom had. It made him laugh. He said he could make anything out of pumpkin meat, but it only tasted exactly the same. When we we talked about roasted pumpkin seeds, I will confess I never tried them. It's the best, he said. Better than popcorn, really. You just pop, drop them in oil and cook them. The stove, the best. The front of us, two large blackbirds had a fight over a long green insect. A green insect. Uh, they were really going for it. It made us both laugh. I liked, like, I liked this guy. He was fun to talk to. It was great to have someone about my age to hang out with. Zeus crept up to the tall, to the tall grass. He arched. His, he, he, the cat spotted the blackbirds. He arched his back, and I could see his fur stand up. He lowered his head and started to stalk them. Moving in slow motion, the birds saw him squawking and flapping as he took off. They flew away that made the cat his moved. He was snickered. Lots of drama in the farm. Where do you live? I asked. He pointed at the fields. Off way this from, off that way. Not far. Your mom lives with us in the farmhouse, I said. Yeah. And I live with my dad with a bunch of other people. I saw my dad heading to the garage. Did you meet my dad? There he is, I pointed. He would jumped up. I better go say hi. Catch you later. He took off running. I picked up the pumpkin I was painting. Only a few more to go. Dad would be happy. I leaned forward to get a paintbrush and glimpse of the, the pile of pumpkins my two sisters had painted. Whoa, wait a minute. No way. I stared at the faces of the pumpkins. Ugly monster faces. Some of them had red eyes. And green gobs of drool dripping down on the giant toothed monsters. And some had painted to paint with cracks in one of them in all their faces. Fangs, even one eye gouged out. With demon horns poking up on the top, one pumpkin appeared to have orange vomit coming from its nostrils over my mouth. My sisters didn't paint those ugly faces. I jumped to my feet. I spun around the pumpkins, picking each one, studying the in face. All of them were hideous. All of them are disgusting, totally gross. I swore. 
I would ignore everything weird, but that happened was too weird. This time I had proof. I gathered them up and ugly pumpkins that could in my arms. Holding one of them on my chest, I went to the garage. Dad! Dad! I screamed breathlessly. Dad, look at these! I told you something's weird on this farm. Dad, I got, I got proof. 